How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy. So um, I've been going through this process of uh, upgrading my MacBook Pro rather than going out to buy a new one. Um, so, so far I've upgraded the hard drive in there to uh, SSD, 512GB SSD drive from Samsung. It's the 840 Pro Series version, which is working great so far. I can now load up my laptop ever so quickly. I can also load up so many apps at the same time without having to worry about anything. I've been watching Netflix, doing all sorts on here uh, with no issues at all. Uh, I've, I've even gone through stages where I've, I've had the uh, Final Cut Pro run at the same time as um, uh, Photoshop, no issues. These are the things that I used to have problems with before and my laptop used to just run uh, mega slow. And even little things like putting things in the trash can just does it instantly and that's perfect for me. So the next stage now is literally just inserting some, uh, a couple of uh, RAM uh, into there, so RAM sticks into there, so I'm going to upgrade the RAM. So at the minute, if I just do about this Mac so we see what's in there so we've got 4 gig of, of DDR3 RAM in there at the minute so I'm looking to bump that up to a whopping uh, 16 gig uh, all together so I'm just going to go through that process with you now very quickly it's a very short one uh, not as long as doing the hard drive stuff there's no cloning to do it's literally just uninstall the current version in there and install new new uh, modes in there so I'm just going to readjust my camera and everything and then uh, I'll get that done uh, on camera uh, right now so stay with me Okay, so we power this on. Uh, first time you're powering on after installing the RAM or the SSD, you might find that um, it has to register you just to know that it's in there and stuff first. Uh, so it might take just slightly longer, maybe two seconds longer just to switch back on. But after that, every time you do it after that, it will be really quick. So we're just gonna load this up to confirm that that's installed. So when we go back into about this Mac, uh, it should come up saying I've got uh, 16 gig of uh, DDR3 RAM in there. So we just, um, wait for this to load up okay so it's loaded up we just log in as normal here we go so if we just do about this Mac now it says uh, I don't know if you guys can see that so give me a sec let me just minimize that and just sort of uh, zoom in a bit right so you guys can see that now it says uh, I've got 16 gig uh, of 1600 megahertz uh, DDR3 RAM in there, my i7 and now if we go into more info we'll be able to see uh, a little bit more about the memory in there so if I just uh, quit that for a second so again 16 gig in there we go to storage so you can see more information about my SSD drive in there uh, we see the configuration there we've got two uh, sorry, I've just uh, left it off the uh, screen there so if you look at the configuration there we get two 8 gigabytes uh, worth of RAM installed in there. Just to do a quick test as well, so for example we haven't got Photoshop or Final Cut Pro or anything like that open at the minute so what we could do is if I just do Photoshop 
if I open that up, you see how quick this is going to load, instantaneous. Uh, and then we do Final Cut Pro. Here we go. So Final Cut Pro, which usually takes longer to open, that's instantaneously just open alongside uh, my Photoshop there, running very smoothly. I'm really happy with this upgrade so far. I uh, can't wait to actually put another SSD in there as well. So success, success there. So anyway, that's it. Um, guys, let me know what you think. If there's anything you want to know or help with doing this sort of stuff, do leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe as well. I'm going to be doing another video where, where, where I'm going to replace the CD drive in there because I don't really use it. So I'm going to replace that with a uh, 128 gigabyte uh, SSD drive and the, put in a caddy to go in there. That's already been ordered. That's going to arrive tomorrow, I believe. Uh, pick that up tomorrow and get that installed and do a video on that as well. But in the meantime, make sure you do subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.